honey, almond, vanilla, blueberry, sandalwood, caramel, and white musk. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today for another video. Today we're gonna be highlighting Happy Land Fragrances Rhyolite. I think that's how you pronounce it, Rhyolite. Anyways, guys, I had tried three to four fragrances from Happy Land Fragrances a while back, initially right off the bat. This was one of those fragrances that I saw them release very soon after I got the initial batches. And I knew Happy Land Fragrances, I knew how high quality they were and how kind of unique they were in their own way. I was actually blown away by the notes and I wanted to smell this one immediately. Honey, almond, vanilla, blueberry, sandalwood, caramel, and white musk. Now that just sounded amazing, especially when I was considering how good Happy Land's blends are. They're very, very good, very high quality, and a little bit unique. They try to do their own thing on every fragrance, which I like. And I also do like how they change up the bottle designs and the colors. So it's not just like one bottle and one color with a different name. I do like other fragrance houses that do that, but it kind of gives it its own little vibe and nuances. What does this smell like? What do I think of it? This really smells like Andy Warhol. And the only time I've ever smelled Andy Warhol is with my Central Obsessions Andy Warhol. Now this is one that I actually really, really enjoyed. The way I would describe this is almost kind of like a raspberry syrup pancake-y thing. Very, very good. Kind of a little bit similar to Bond Number no. 9's New Harlem, but this one seems like it has more of like a sweetness, a raspberry, and a syrupy feel even more than New Harlem. New Harlem, I actually think, smelled a little bit like pancakes, and I think this one actually smelled a little bit more like pancakes. Really unique, sweet, red, and just different. The nuances and the uniqueness that I get from Andy Warhol, that's really the style of fragrance that I get with this one. As you can see on there, I don't know if my light will be bad or not. This one is unisex, so you could wear this if you're a man, if you're a woman. I just reviewed um, Cure Cafe that was only men. This one is one that labeled for everybody, and I could kind of see that sweet, a little bit exotic, and I haven't really smelled too many things like it, and it almost tunes up that Andy Warhol DNA. The Andy Warhol DNA is very sweet and in your face and, and off in its own direction, which I absolutely love, but it might be a little too sweet, a little too out there. This one seems like it has almost all the sweetness of it, but it's tuned up a little bit, so it's a little bit more easy to wear while keeping that same uniqueness to it. If I was gonna go for one favorite sweet fragrance from Happy Land, I'd probably go with Rhyolite personally. This one isn't as much of a, a traditional style fragrance, something like Happy Land Signature. I feel like maybe more people would appeal to that because it feels a little bit more normal. This one feels like totally off in its own direction. It totally has its own smell and I really, really enjoy it. I think it's very special smelling. As far as the notes, what do I get? I could kind of see the honey. Honey, almond, vanilla, definitely. It kind of gives it a, a desserty kind of feel for sure. Blueberry, sandalwood, caramel. I actually pretty much smell all that, but for some reason, just what it jumps to in my head is the Andy Warhol style smell, which I really, really like, and not very many people have smelled it. I've been checking out people online. They've been writing me that they would try their version of Andy Warhol, the Central Obsessions, and they just absolutely loved the house. They fell in love with it, and it's just fantastic. I agree with them, but I also, I don't really want to say which one I want to pick for sure because I like both these houses, but I really, really like Briar Light. Now, if I was going to go for one sweet fragrance from Happy Land, this one's for sure for me. I like something, it's probably like a little bit more sexy and a little bit more fun and playful too than Happy Land Signature, which is another one that I would kind of compare because I think Happy Land Signature has blueberry honey. It's almost gourmand. This one is maybe even a little bit more gourmand, but I really, really, really like this, guys. This is probably my favorite sweet fragrance from Happy Land, and that's pretty much saying a lot because these guys do some really, really good quality stuff. They do the perfume extracts. They really take their time blending it. And I, one thing I like about Happy Land Fragrances is that they really try to make their own style fragrance. They don't just copy another fragrance like note for note, which I do really appreciate. I highly recommend Rye Light if you like sweet style fragrances, if you can imagine kind of like a raspberry syrupy kind of a fragrance, this is good. I kind of do see pretty much all the notes in here. I definitely recommend getting a sample if you like unique sweet fragrances. And I think this goes for about 35 to 50 online. So same with all the Happy Lands. They're very good, very solid. Have my stamp of approval. And I think I might prefer the new batch of fragrances 
to the last batch of fragrances, which I gave super high quality marks. And look for these to be in my fragrance list, especially for winter. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, guys. You guys are the best. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the bomb. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>